Om Shri Sai Ram. I offer myself at the divine lotus feet of Bhagavan Shri Sati Sai Baba. And thank you so much, uh, Sister Anu, for the wonderful introduction. I don't know how much I deserve on that, but uh, very nice that you introduce uh, me to wonderful devotees from Region 3. So I have a lot of uh, uh, connection for some reason with Region 3 more than any other region, I think. Uh, been to Florida a couple of times more than any other states, actually. So um, coming back to this particular session, um, I would like to uh, kind my talks with some personal experiences with Swami, but more importantly, the message that always Swami says, the message, the Tattva Pracharam, that's what Swami always uh, tells us. So today, I like to converse with you um, on the topic of satsang, because this is satsang, and uh, it is so many millions of people, of course, devotees themselves now in billions, then we are all, we got an opportunity to be here, to, to hear about God, this, this satsang that itself tells us that we want to know more about, more about Bhagavan. And uh, whenever we think that uh, we want to know more about Bhagavan and uh, more about him, the experiences, and that makes us happy. So that kind of satsang is very rare to get nowadays with all the distractions in the world, then something is there and we all have that pining to listen that itself is a greatest blessing of Bhagwan. So one thing I wanted to tell is that Swami gives so much love to us and some people ask me, what, what can we give? We cannot give anything better. We have to love him back as much as he can. He loves us. At least that much, that much we should have our goal. I know it is not an easy thing, like how he loves us, we can love him back. But if we can, that is the best thing that can happen in this life. And that can be generated only through satsang. So in fact, when I remember this, then I like to chant this from the Suprabhadam. Pannama Kirtana Radhasthava Divya Nama Gayanti Bhakti Rasapana Prabhushta Chittaha Tadum Kripa Sagita Tadish Darshana Masu Devya Sisatya Sai Bhagavan Tava Suprabhadam. So the main thing in this particular verse, we all, what we want to do is, we want to chant his name, we want to sing his kirtana and glorify that divine name and we really be happy and our hearts are so happy by doing that. That's all we want to, um, we want to dwell in that thought, thought of him and always think about him. You know, in everything, whatever we do, we want to really take Swami with us. So this, this particular verse, it reminds me of that. And more importantly, that, that divine nectar, that the devotion that is in this, we all cherish by singing his name. And he, such the Lord, the, the Lord of the universe, he will come and arise. He doesn't need to be awakened because we say that Oh, uh, Lord, please awake. But he's not, he is not awakening because he is always awakened. It is us, he's telling, Swami is telling that by saying that he, through him, he is making us to awake to the consciousness of him. So that is very beautiful verse from the Suprabhadam. We always chant and uh, this 
slow this verse always uh, is a very very dear to me when i chant this so coming back to satsang so uh, i was thinking you know what is about satsang and this it's basically that is that is one of the greatest blessing that bhagwan has given us in this organization and uh, through this satsang we talk about uh, swami's stories swami always says it's not history it is his story and he also said that his story is to make our stories sto i mean story less so when we talk about him we forget about our stories and we always think about him and that becomes the satsang so in that sense i like to um, you know when i when we talk about experiences about even ourselves when we had uh, you know interactions with swami or some great incidents that in your life that you cherish and it, it it takes you to god that kind of inspiration that you get and you share with others what happens is when we share with others it really enriches me when i am sharing that oh you know i am sharing about bhagwan so it is in my heart it's i am so happy that it is it is basically i am always th i'm thinking about god so that is that is the beauty of this uh, this uh, satsang so if you if if anybody had seen uh, the discourses swami gave summer showers in brindavan 1973 it is uh, swami in the 1973 uh, summer showers it's very beautiful that he takes up the uh, the famous bhajagovindam by adi shankara um, is a great saint and many of you may know and he is um, uh he the famous composition bajagovindam many uh, many great people have sung and uh, uh, the bharat ratna uh, ms subalakshmi uh, has sung many times it is is very beautiful and swami has expounded each verse in that uh, uh, great composition of uh, adi shankara in that bajagovindam there is one important uh, um uh, verse that comes it goes like this satsangatve nisangatvam nisangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischaladatvam nischaladatve jeevan mukti so in this particular verse swami takes each verse and goes into detail in each discourse it's many discourses in that series of discourses on summer shavas and vrindavan this one verse also is one full discourse on this particular verse this four lines satsangatve nissangatvam nissangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischaltatvam nischaltatve jeevan mukti i will go the details of this verse but more important thing is if even we take that first line in this verse satsangatve nissangatvam we can go on days and days about pondering and details di you know dive deep into the message what it says and uh, there is no end because that is very beautiful uh, verse that he uh, uh, adi shankara composed and swami is also expounding in that discourse very beautifully and main important thing in that particular thing swami you know has very very nice nicely puts it uh on this in this discourse we will go back to the first verse satsangatve nissangatvam satsangat satsangam means good company being with a good company so swami always expounds on that as well good in normal sense what it is basically we all think doing good things you know helping people you know, giving sandwiches that sort of stuff and bad company means you know people who are hurting others and you know doing evil that's normally we think what is good company and our swami always says avoid bad company also so that means having good company satsang nissangatvam that means you will get detachment you will be detached 
when we have the satsang detail. So if you really see what is this pun in words, nisangatva, detachment of, from what? Detachment from the world. So when you go in towards God, satsangam, that means doing good and thinking about God, thinking about good things, and automatically you go away from the bad, nisangatva, detach yourself. Nisangatve nirmohatvam. So when you have this that detachment, automatically you will you will get nirmoha. That means you will not be uh, you will be free from this illusory relationships. And then nirmohatve nischalatattam, steadiness of mind. That is what everybody is uh, uh, trying to achieve, steadiness of mind. That immediate once we have that nirmoha, then automatically uh, the steadiness of mind you will get. And what is that Nishchala Tattva do? The Nishchala Tattva Jeevan Mukti, liberation. So this is all finally, that's what it's going to culminate. Uh, the final goal for everyone is to, to realize oneself and the liberation is the final goal. So when you start with this satsang, Swami says, you will end with liberation. So we don't need to do anything further. Once you start with satsang, you will end up with liberation. So anybody wants liberation, then start with satsang. So in my life also, it is like that. I would say that most of it is satsang. So if I consider myself, I'm so blessed. Even satsang is also the greatest blessing of Bhagwan. We cannot get, okay, I want some nice satsang. You will not be able to get so without his grace and blessings. And I am very fortunate, I have to really say that, because wherever I go, wherever I, from, from my ch childhood till now, that is the greatest blessing that I have received from Bhagawan. So always I am surrounded by devotees. Always they will be talking about God. Even when I went, uh, you know, in the college in Bangalore or anywhere, I was, I'm surrounded by people uh, of thinking about God. And uh, we also, you know, when I joined work and came here, I don't need, needless to say, I got the, the best uh, people around me to make sure that I always have that satsang and Swami blessed with me, blessed me with that. So to start the story, uh, quickly I'll go with that first how it started, how we came to know about Bhagavan. There's a higher meaning of this also in the satsang. If you say sat means truth. So being with truth, being with God. Sometimes it, is, it might say it's, we are in a good company of others. It is actually good company here. Sat is truth, being with God is satsang. So we are thinking about God, being with God. We always, we are going to live with God. You're thinking about God, that is satsang. So that is uh, also the higher meaning Swami gives. So it is very beautiful uh, that discourse. I always uh, recommend people to read that discourse because whoever wants liberation, I think everybody here wants liberation. So that will be nice to nice read. Uh, going back to the story, I actually came to, basically I did not come, Swami always, chooses the fam family where you'll be born anyway. Uh, my grandmother is the first person to go to Swami. My grandmother is, is a wonderful devotee and she is, uh, I don't know how many of you know, uh, from the South India, uh, same time, there was a, a living saint, uh, he's very is popular in that, in that in those times. Even now, uh, he's, uh, he's, no, he's no more, but is the uh, Kanchi Paramacharya we call him, and uh, Kan in Kanjivram is the is the place that he used to stay, and uh, uh, he's uh, Acharya for us. Acharya is Guru, so uh, my grandma used to go visit uh, him every week from Chennai, which is about 70, 80 kilometers, which is about like 50 miles from like here, so we, uh, 50 miles, and on those days, 50 miles is not that easy going every week every weekend going there and, and uh, be there. And uh, they were quite wealthy. Uh, my grandfather was a contractor and uh, uh, he had so many big contracts and things were so good and life was very smooth and 
and she is very involved in music and uh, uh, music academy, Krishna Gana Sabha, they call all those circles where the Indian classic uh, music, she got, got, get, got involved and, um, and uh, that's how my mother also, you know, got to know many uh, great people and she also learned some, learned Kritis from uh, those days, uh, you know, uh, people who have, you know, were popular in the, in the Indian classical music. So she, um, so they were going to, they were going to Paramacharya and one time, this is how, this is what happened uh, first time when my mother was, mother was only eight years old when she went to see Paramacharya and at that time, uh, this, uh, I mean, Paramacharya gave. So after the worship puja that they do, um, they call Chandra Maulishra puja. Once they finish that and they give that, the meru, they call it, the small, uh, whatever the uh, thing that they, they do, uh, the, the worship. And then that meru, she gave it to, uh, Paramacharya was looking for someone whom, she, whom he wants to give. And he was looking at that time, my mother was standing and she was so young, uh, eight years. He gave it to her. Everybody was surprised, you know, she, he gives to people who will be doing puja regularly, you know, worship regularly, like ours. I mean, you have to chant a lot of, uh, you know, 1,008 names of uh, God. And uh, well, how come she's going to perform all those things? You know, everybody was uh, puzzled for eight years old um, uh, girl to do. And my grandma was also surprised. And uh, they gave and she, my mother took and came back. And uh, it is my blessing, I have to say this, mother was uh, from eight years till her last breath in uh, 2020 in uh, June, she was doing the uh, Japa Manda worship several hours every day. And uh, it, is, it is, you can see that when you go on chanting the name of the Lord, how people progress and and also important that when when she was doing that whatever uh, you know troubles come in your life it is easy to go through and uh, it was amazing to see uh, how he he perceived and he gave that and she needed that and uh, my mother also took it and she was doing the worship till her last breath that's amazing to uh, that he had that you know, they, they say that look in the future and he gave that, he, he knows that she would be able to do so and perform that worship. At the same time, my grandmother was continuing to go and one time he said, you're coming every week, from next week onwards, you will not be able to come. This is exactly, he said, Paramacharya told. And at that time, my grandmother did not know what to, she she was first uh, perplexed why she is saying that, but then he she went went back and at that time, then she found that um, the the that same week when Paramacharya told that same week, uh, my grandpa passed away in a terrible accident, and uh, things changed uh, immediately and uh, basically to whom they had given, uh, you know, the money, uh, they all, they all went away. And the people who, uh, you know, whom he has, for as a contractor, you know, had by, bought the materials and stuff, they all came to get the money. So now you can see how the satsang, I mean, the good company, even in a normal world, people will be attached to us when things are going fine. But then when it is not good, they will run away. And he, he, it's a good example here to learn. So this is how worldly people are going to be unless we are attached to, the, to God who, is, who will always be with us till our last breath. So anyway, this thing happened and uh, she, uh, she, but one thing also Paramacharya told, but it's not me from now on, God himself will, will come and help you and you will see God. That's all he said. 
so two things actually similar to this uh, paramacharya has advised many devotees like that and ms subalakshmi also was also um, you know went to him and he told her to go to bhagwan our swami and she went so similar stories are there from like to many other people but my grandma is also one more person to be added to that list and uh, so her name is bhavani she came back and uh, she did not know and within a couple of months or something that she heard that sati sai baba is visiting abasbari in uh, chennai and so she went and uh, some some people told you know all your troubles will go away go and see him so another thing <laughs> whenever we have troubles we'll run to god and uh, when it is all good we don't think about him but anyway this lady was thinking about god even when things were good but it's it's good fortune because of that now uh, somebody told about swami to her and uh, she went to see swami in advaspari that's the first uh, thing from our family i would say you know swam uh, went to swami and she sat there and swami came and the beautiful thing was swami she he knows of course what is going on in the family and uh, she needed really help and swami looked at her almost like what i was told by my mom is that almost 10 minutes swami stood i have never seen swami saying but she, that's what she expressed she did she did not know how much time herself my grandma and uh, she swami saw her for quite a while just eye to eye no no talk anything and then just swami slowly passed the that side of the crowd and then went and then it seems like uh, uh, after that Pro uh, professor kasturi was coming out and he was he used to follow before at this those days so he sat and he came to her and told the uh, Uh, nicely that uh, amma you know she, swami was near you his robe was on you and and he was looking at you you did not even speak anything you could have asked but she was crying that's all so why you are crying you could have told him what it is and all those things but then she said no i did not know uh, i he is his god now i mean his god to me i don't i don't have any other feeling so i don't want to ask anything so that is also a good thing because when we have god it is no need for us to go and ask anything he will give because what we need he will give to us we don't need to go and ask what i want this i want that what is the reason there is no need he knows what is what do we need and he will give it to us so she had that uh, you know total surrender and so she said i don't need to ask anything it is uh, it is uh, very beautiful i had i enjoyed what, under what i want to see in my life i saw so that is uh, about it and quite a while she was going to see swami still that did not dawn to my mother my mother was continuing in her prayers of course when you have uh, you know problems she got married so many problems otherwise but then when the problems come that's the time you will get more advices from other people also there will be lot of people coming and saying you know pray to this lord pray to the so the list of law uh, god names increases and my my mom if you take 1008 na 1008 names of vishnu now lalita she dakshina murthy she will go on add to her list and she will go on pray because that's a, that's that's what most people do and she she did that same thing and uh, one time in 19 77 or 78 that's the time i remember i mean i was little kid at that time so she my grandma came and my mom's name is vijay lakshmi she she came and said viji look put this this is our god anymore now leave alone this is only this is what this is what we are going to pray and he is is our god now we we couldn't go to uh, i mean this is uh, we we can pray to him and uh, everybody says and i feel you also believe in it then she looked uh, my my mom looked, uh, kept the picture of swami in the in the in our in our altar and uh, still it did not dawn to us but uh, 
it is a beautiful picture of Swami where, um, you know, exactly same as in Prashant Rilayam Mandir. So we had very small picture and we were praying. And only she taught this Amba Parameshwari Akila and Deshwari, that song. And then anytime we had, we were just singing that song when we have any kind of troubles, we, that's what we used to sing. My brother used to go to Balvikas and then I got inspired about four, three, four years later that hey, he's, he's telling slokas and I am not doing anything, so I will become waste. It's not good, so I have to learn something. Then I started going to Balvikas. That is the time I, once I tasted, uh, I like songs and, uh, you know, music. So, um, you know, I basically liked the percussion instruments and I was uh, trying to get some ganjira and uh, playing ganjira and all, and uh, they all liked it. So, but once I, I get involved, I wanted to learn more. I go, uh, if, even if it's a, a, you know, long distance, I will, uh, drive to that place and I will uh, learn it and all those things happening. Then I, around 1983 or 83, I would think, 84, that is the time, um, one time Swami is passing to, passing to, Swami is going to Kodakhanal and uh, Swami is passing by our place. It's just right, like two kilometers away, that main road where uh, from Madurai, Swami will be going through to the to to Kota Canal, and uh, so we. I told my mother that I want to go and see him. So I anyway I couldn't go to the airport, but at least I can go and see here. Uh, so many people had come. My mother had so many things and said, "No, it's very difficult. The dad will not allow." Why? I said, "No, nope, I am going." Then I went with uh, some people said, and uh, my mom reluctantly said, okay, it's just only two, three kilometers. So I went there and we were standing, we were singing bhajans. That's the first experience that uh, I'm seeing Swami and uh, Swami's car came with blazing speed. Actually speaking, uh, there was a, a bike that, that was coming in, in front. And uh, they usually, they go like uh, clearance and uh, they were going and uh, they were going at high speed and uh, we understood Swami's car is coming. We could see and then just nearby were just going, going close to say Swami Sairam, Sairam, Sairam. It's so amazing that uh, in that speed, I don't know what kind of break the driver did. Uh, Swami must have told that uh, driver and uh, the car, almost like stopped and we are only like four or five people and uh, we just uh, very closely went to say Swami Sairam 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 nearby and Swami looked at each one of us and uh, did the uh, Abhay Hasta and so I'm protecting you so you all and uh, you are so happy that uh, you know simple things like you know, did a small you know little devotion Again, it's important thing is satsang with the uh, attaching yourself with the devotees. They are thinking about God. You are thinking about God. You got the benefit right away that God Himself giving darshan, and it's one of my that memories goes. I cannot forget the darshan. How close I had, and Swami looked at me. So that is the the little fire that in me that Swami kindled. Um, okay, this is my Lord, and uh, no more to look for anybody. From that time, for me, it is only Swami, and uh, any, even I go temples anywhere, I cannot see anything other than Him. I basically, um, I will not be, my mind will not be even thinking about, when I go to Shiva, even Lingam, I will see that is the form of Swami, and it is, it is, it is, induced in me from that childhood, that darshan as, as, as put to me, that as, it's a learning that you learned from that uh, small incident. Then I, I came back, I uh, told uh, my mother that, uh, you know, I want to see Swami more. And again, Swami next year, he came to Gandhi Museum in Madhura. That had a very good darshan uh, place. I went there and I had very beautiful darshan, very close darshan as well there. 
And the very beautiful thing that impressed is uh, to me is that my Lord came, it's a beautiful chair and arrangement. The Swami did not go to and uh, sit in the chair. He was just sitting in the ground and uh, enjoying the bhajans. It's all, anybody can be there so close. And uh, it was beautiful because if it is, if he's sitting in the chair, you will not be able to see that close. So Swami, this is also, it's a lesson that, you know, you, you put one step towards him that he will come towards you and uh, he will give the darshan that, uh, that was a beautiful darshan also. Similarly, we had many darshans like that. And one of them, which I won't forget is, uh, is, is in Kodakanal when we went with devotees again. Uh, we, 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 were sta- we were in the uh, Kodakanal, uh, this was, it's 1984 or 85. Swami was uh, giving darshan. It was not Sai Shruti, it was before Sai Shruti time. And uh, Swami came and first time I, I heard Swami speaking in Tamil, uh, close to me and uh, he gave Padanamaskar everything and then he told that today it's uh, it's going to rain so now you go back quickly and uh, uh, and then you know you are coming from Madurai I know so you all go back and then uh, tomorrow come so uh, everything is told he told in Tamil so it's very beautiful then I that's another closer um, interaction I mean Many people were there, devotees, and he was telling for everyone. So these kind of little, little things slowly increased to know more about him because the real satsang is knowing him. It's impossible to know him fully, but at least we have to make our effort. So in the process of knowing him, we will get dissolved and he alone be there. So Naham Naham Tuhu Tuhu, you, he will be the only one. But the ego in us has to dissolve, and that is the process in this. So that is one of the uh, another uh, darshan I would say that it helped me to, uh, uh, it, it actually kindled my heart to really you know I want Swami now, I want more and more of Swami. So again, more uh, more things. I got to do a little fast forward here. The another thing I would I would think here very appropriate is uh, to go fast forward. Of course, our family is slowly one by one, but still, my mom wasn't involved in any of the Swami's uh, circle yet. But we are going, and Swami, my mom was very happy that it's happened. You know, she believed in Swami, but still not into you know going to uh, pray, you know the uh, devotional singing or satsang, uh, participating in Swami's uh, you know organization activities and stuff. It is actually when I I went to uh, Bangalore for studies. That is the time slowly uh, my mom got involved more into the activities. And after that, no looking back, of course she dedicated her life uh, about say two decades completely in Swami's organization and doing a lot of seva. I, I would really say this are all because of the satsang. Again, they, she had, she got wonderful devotees uh, uh, surrounding her and she got introduced to many devotees in Madurai and she used to go to uh, Kodakanal quite often for the, for the service and also Prashant Nadayam. This one thing that I would like to mention, when you really do Swami service along with the devotees, because whenever we do, this is one of the beautiful thing. It's not just you are alone, you are doing and devotees with you, this, this Seva organization service. We, we, the, the organization gives us is to, you know, we worship together and think about Swami together. So anyway, so she was going to put a party. I will m- mention this incident first, and then I'll come back to an incident that uh, I wanted to share with you again in Bangalore, what happened to me. But uh, in this particular incident, it's so beautiful that actually she had a, um, uh, back surgery 
And after the back surgery, uh, it was very uh, complicated surgery. Of course, you know, Swami's grace, everything taken care, that is a big story behind it. But then after that, also she wanted to go and serve in Prashanti Nilayam. I said, mom, Prashanti Nilayam, you, at eight year birthday, you are going, you're going to serve. I don't know, well, my sister Girja, she can go and serve, that's okay, but not you. Then uh, by the time my sister also got involved so much in the organization, she was working and doing a lot of service activities, part of it. I said, you know, now, now give the chance to uh, her and she goes. She said, no, 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 I wanted to go as well. So anyway, Girja is coming with me. So my sister Girja and my mom went to Prashant Nalim for 80th birthday. I was really, really uh, not happy for what she's doing. Then I told Swami that in my heart, I said, uh, you have to take care of her because I don't know what is going to happen in that crowd. She'll be like, you know, nowhere and uh, um, she will be, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy to, uh, you know, have a lot of, lot of back surgery and stuff and work there. But anyway, she went and uh, they wanted to go and uh, take. So my sister said, I will take care. We both will work in a superficial hospital, our first choice, if not. As uh, the service coordinator at that time in Prashant Rilayam, who will be assigning the work. For some reason, she knows my sister very well. She's okay, she's very capable. So, okay, she got her and said, okay, you lead the entire team in the superficial hospital, you go. She knows my mom also because they have been going for a long time. So my mom, she told, no, 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 you go, you don't need to go with your, with your daughter. You go and you, you please serve in the uh, canteen. Canteen, uh, the, when she goes, uh, she also knows what work she's going to get because the people there, they know her. They'll give the uh, work of peeling the onions. So you know, peeling the onions is uh, for, I mean, 80th birthday, you can imagine almost like 1 million people coming and you're cooking for, uh, I mean, there are with her about few people who will be peeling onions, that's all. And uh, in South Indian canteen, you can imagine that uh, the, they do a lot of uh, uh, food items and onion and is, is something very, uh, in most of the food that's used. So peeling onions is, uh, is the work that, uh, that will be given to her. And uh, so you go to canteen, she said. These people try to tell her, uh, you know, please let, let us be together and I will take my mom and go. Or my mom, my sister wanted to exchange. I will go to the canteen, I will do the onions. Because you have to sit and do it and she cannot sit and do. And uh, what happened was she said, no, no, no. Your mom does that work very well. She knows that, so it let her go to the canteen and you go to the superficial hospital. It's so beautiful that my mom went there. And uh, she said, no, I told the, you know, Swami is there. Why do you, why are you, why are you guys afraid? She, she told, she told my sister and my sister panickingly calling me and said, you tell Amma to just quit and come. Otherwise she's not going to listen. She's going to go her back surgery. She's again going to have a problem. Then again, we had to go to superficial hospital only to uh, fix her back. And it's, you know, Dr. Hegde himself told, you, sh you should not do this. You cannot be sitting for hours and all those things. Then I said, I don't know how to tell her. I Okay, the best thing is just tell Swami because she's a stubborn lady. She's not going to listen to us. And uh, the, the, the Sevadal who assigned the job also is not going to listen to us. Exactly happened. She went there. And uh, uh, what happened was uh, um, she did the work, the canteen, and she did much more work, even transferring food and all the heavy weights, lifting, everything. And then came back uh, to home and there was no problem at all. Then I, then I realized one thing from that incident is that we tried to put logic and try to um, uh, think this way, that way, but once you give yourself to God and uh, what all they do is only chanting the name of God and uh, being in the company of good, you're doing that 
great work god is going to take care of and he did so nothing happened really i was so um, happy but at the same time i learned a big lesson that give yourself to god and uh, she also was given the scarf getting a scarf in uh, prashanti nilayam is something very precious and she told you know so many after 10 years we get it i come back to the story quickly to my story the same thing when i when i am in bangalore studying there i was going to uh, uh, see swami in whitefield actually uh, this is 1993 uh, uh, or 94 I was going and I was going to see Swami and uh, we used to travel in the bus. I mean, in the, uh, it's crowded and we take the bus. It's a long journey from the bus from uh, the Bangalore city to the, to the white field. Caught the bus and I was inside. I got a seat to sit also. I was sitting. And uh, uh, one, uh, there was a lot of people were there and one lady with a the, the small baby in her hands, she was standing. then i thought oh, what is this i am sitting i am young guy <laughs> what is there i told uh, that lady to come and please uh, sit here then i told that man i mean uh, my friend also to get up and then give the seat for her and then another lady also sat there so that's all it is i didn't do anything beyond that very uh, strange one man from the behind saw me i was going to whitefield you know taking the token going to see swami that was going on and i said how do i approach because i'm in the institute i don't know any center anything how do i go inside uh, uh, i mean like to every time you know darshan going is not i wanted to do more and then the, the a man who's sitting in the back he happens to be a sevadal in the uh, in the whitefield he looked at me from there and then when i got down from the bus bus to go to the ashram for the for the lines then i was standing in the last is grabbing my hand he took me and my friend straight into the the room uh, where the sevadal room is he put the scarf and said you are now sevadal don't don't worry don't don't waste your time standing there go and serve inside the uh try brindavan i i mean try brindavan if you have to serve it is basically uh, you need at least 25 or 30 years experience otherwise they won't allow you, allow you to serve in try brindavan because that is swami's residence i couldn't believe and that's how my journey started so it's 345 now i wanted to close probably make take 2 3 minutes uh what all i'm trying to say in this that is thinking about god and being in the satsang it really takes us towards him and this kind of satsang we should we should always encourage and we should always do and that's how my life have been and it's lot of stories in that but just a glimpse of these incidents tells one thing that we we have to um you know think the the, the best way to think about god which leads to liberation finally we don't need to worry about liberation when we are in the satsang attending the uh, satsang and organization activities automatically it will take us to the liberation we don't need to worry about liberation that is going to come when it's going to come how it's going to come i have to do yoga this yoga that yoga swami claim came into my dream and told very simply nothing you don't need to do all that stuff all it is you need prema yoga just just think about me sing about my kirtans and the, you will be blessed that's you you'll get what you need so all the all the things what has swami has given tools he has given is all very 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 easy for to follow and uh, we have lot of uh, lots of things that um, uh, swami the organization has provided and we can use those tools to you know uh, shape ourselves and shape you know practicing them and of course uh, you know uh, that will lead itself to the liberation so the the one final thing that uh, i wanted to end this talk is so whatever we do kayena vacha manasendriye ruva buddhyatmana va prakrute swabhava karomi yadyat sakalam parasmai sa ishurayet samarpayam by body mind and uh, you know by 
காயன வாச்ச மனஸ் யுவர் மனஸ் இந்திரியர் ஆல் யுவர் சென்சஸ் அண்ட் புத்தி யுவர் இன்டலாக்ட் எவ்ரி திங் ஐ டூ தம் ஆல் டு சுவாமி பை சரண்டரிங் டு ஹிம் தட்ஸ் வாட் திஸ் ஸ்லோகா இஸ் பேசிக்லி சேங் ஸோ வி ஆல் ஜிஸ் த்ரூ திஸ் சச் சங் லெட் இஸ் பி யுனைட் அண்ட் திங்க் அபவுட் ஹிம் ஆல் த டைம் அண்ட் keeping him in our mind that's all it is needed and it is automatically going to take us to liberation so i will end this talk here and uh, sairam thank you